So you just started your home search and you came across Boynton Beach and you came across a beautiful home on Zillow, but you're not 200% sure if it's the right place for you and your family. Well, this is the video for you. Here we'll discuss from a local perspective as a resident myself, what's the good, the bad, and the ugly. One of the main reasons why people move to Boynton Beach is because it is centrally located, very close proximity to Boca Raton, Miami, and also Palm Beach. Um, we're located uh, specifically north of Delray Beach and south of Lantana. And this is a area that uh, covers all the way from the coastline all the way down to 441, which from coast from east to west, you're roughly 30 minutes uh, wide. And you can expect access to 95 and the turnpike to get up and down South Florida. You have 15 minutes commute to get to Palm Beach International Airport, 30 to 35 minutes to Fort Lauderdale and an hour, an hour and a half to get to Miami. So if you're looking to be close to the nightlife and, and have uh, fun things to do, um, like restaurants, bars, and, and all that, you're in really close proximity. You have Atlantic Ave in Delray Beach, which is a very uh, a bustling area where there's a lot of restaurants right off Atlantic Ave, a lot of lounges and nightclubs. Also, you have Miami, you have all the nightclubs there as well. But if you want, uh, Boynton Beach is, is more laid back. So you're very close, but you're not too close. You're not in, in the midst of all that traffic that there is with um, these busier cities. And that's what people love about Boynton Beach. You have neighborhoods that are gated neighborhoods and you also have neighborhoods that have no HOA. So you have a little bit for everybody. Um, if you wanna have a home where you can park the boat, the RV, uh, put up a fence, do whatever you want, you have that here. There's a lot of great neighborhoods, even like in close distance to Delray Beach that um, are up and coming. There's a lot of development, multi-million dollar homes on no HOA, uh, waterfront property. There, the typical home and this like Chapel Hill neighborhood that I'm thinking about specifically is roughly 700,000 uh, for, for a dry lot. Uh, on the water, you could be closer to a million and uh, you know the prices go up from there for non-HOA. And you have also gated communities like the Valencias. A lot of these are 55 plus and older communities um, where you can find you know guard gated uh, with a cafe, a lot of great amenities like the fitness center, uh, Olympic size swimming pools, walking trails, um, you know, bocce ball, a lot of different sports, tennis, uh, pickleball, all that. So you have a wide variety of options when it comes to housing. Um, but what makes uh, Boynton Beach attractive is that you also have a marina where you have access to rent a boat, a jet ski, charter, uh, deep sea, uh, deep sea fishing, scuba diving. All of that is accessible in the Boynton Harbor Marina, as well as a lot of great restaurants there too. You have Two Georges and Banana Boat. You also have the Renaissance Commons area, which is close to um, like the mall area. The, that's more of the busier area where you have, you know, the live here, play here, mixed use space where you have all the top chain restaurants, you know, the Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, um, Kiki's, all that. You have that um, near there. You have the LA Fitness. You have everything nearby. Um, and then you have the Boynton Beach Mall, which is more of a dinosaur. It's ready to get an overhaul. There's been plans approved for it. Um, so that mall is, uh, if you're looking to go shopping uh, at a mall, I would recommend going to like Town Center in Boca, which is probably 20 minutes away, or to the outlets 20 minutes north um, in, in uh, the Lang uh, what's it called, Tanger Outlets in, in Palm Beach, in West Palm Beach. So that's when it comes when it comes to um, shopping now for livability cost of goods uh cost of living you can expect the typical light bill to be around 100 150 dollars for a condo um which encompasses most of everything that you need the the range uh your uh, stove runs on electric most most of the places here and everything else runs on electric so for 100 and 150 bucks that's what you can expect for a townhouse condo now for single family, you'll be closer to 200, $250 a month for electric. Um, insurance is one of the biggest killers here um, because of all the hurricanes and storms. Um, you'll be expected to, for a single family home to be closer to $3,000 uh, a year um, for, for a place that has an older roof, 
be closer to like $8,000 a year um, versus uh, let's say a condo. A condo is kind of like baked into the, the HOA. So the HOA prices here, um, whether they include great amenities or not, they, they're between 500 to up to $1,000 a month in terms of HOA uh, monthly, monthly dues. Um, so that's what you can expect for, for that. Water bill, a lot of HOAs uh, for condos have it baked into that HOA. Um, but if you're going for a single family home, you can expect a water bill for, uh, roughly around $100. Um, townhouse would be more like $50. A condo about the same, 40 to 50. So that's kind of what you can expect there. Um, now, is, it, is Boynton Beach a great place to live? Yes, if you want a place that's laid back, that has access to practically everything that you could ever want, good schools, um, uh, nightlife, restaurants, um, uh, things to do like outdoor activities, recreational, then yes. Um, another, uh, I'm not sure if I elaborated on the, the beach, but we have Oceanfront Park here, which is tw 12 acres, uh, a very nice beach. Uh, there's very little traffic um, compared to other beaches like in Miami or um, in Deerfield Beach, Juneau. Um, there's covered parking as well. And I love that it has a ramp so it allows people that with the that are like wheelchair bound that they they can access the beach it's very nice beach we love seeing the the sunrise there um with the family and and having having a good time there we also have the um the inlet beach and and the inlet where people can go fishing so you have access to that there as well if you rent a jet ski you can you know, park on the beach there as well so it's a lot of fun things to do um uh, recreationally in Boynton Beach so if you're considering buying a home that you zoomed on, on Zillow that home was probably in the 625,000 range or if it's a condo it's roughly around 300,000 this is what you can expect in, ter in terms of livability um and uh, one other thing I want to highlight is the schools so schools you have good elementary schools you have great charter school, charter, um, quantum charter is a, is a good school. And as well as uh, private schools like uh, Lake Worth Christian Academy, you have good schools for uh, from elementary all the way up to high school. So you have access to a lot of different options there. So if you're thinking about moving to Boynton Beach, I would look at all these different factors. If this is your first time on the channel um, and you want to see more videos about different cities in South Florida, I would recommend subscribing to the channel clicking the bell icon and liking the video so that you'll be notified with other videos about other towns in South Florida.